God bless you guys. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be speaking about this upcoming election. And it's not about, you know, who I'm voting for or who I think is a better candidate and their policies and X, Y, and Z. Um, I really want to speak about the importance of understanding what's happening in this season. In this season, uh, people are spending a lot of money. Corporations are spending a lot of money to sway your opinions, to keep you upset, to keep you angry and basically get votes at the end of the day they want you to be emotionally based and basically play on your emotions to manipulate the outcomes for their favor uh this is both sides this is basically politics this is not a fair game but i just want to give the understanding as a christian where we should stand uh in this season at the end of the day just because someone is conservative doesn't mean that we have to basically back them. Because being conservative and being Christian is two very different things, as we can see with this coming election, how it's changing. Uh, another thing is just because someone is for the people or speaking in the name of social justice doesn't mean that Jesus is behind all that. In the Bible, Apostle Paul speaks to Timothy and he's basically telling him that we should always be in prayer for our leaders, people in authority, and our teachers giving thanks and interceding for them at all times because the roles that they play are very crucial they're leading people and then he addresses us as believers how we should conduct ourselves in this present world and he says that we may live peaceful lives and quiet lives in all goodness and holiness and this is what pleases god this is what honors god is the way we conduct ourselves in these times it is our job to give them the truth of jesus christ because at the end of the day, he wants to save all people. See, back in the Old Testament, God told the Israelites to pray for Babylon. And he says, seek peace and prosperity in the city which I've exiled you to. And then it says, pray to the Lord that that city prospers. Because if it prospers, you will prosper as well. Then in the book of Romans, as it says here in Romans 13, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. So we have to be at peace knowing that God has allowed this to happen or allowed certain things to happen and that he has wanted that person to be there and he has established that person there. If you, now, if you look back to the prior elections, you go look at 2016 and people that were for Hillary, Christians that were for Hillary, now are like, why is Trump here? And they get very frustrated and upset. Now we go to 2020, everybody thinks Trump is going to win. Biden wins, and now the Christians that are with Trump are very, very upset about Biden. And then the story is they rigged the election, they did this, they did that. Now, granted, there is some evidence, but at the end of the day, God has established that, and God has allowed that to happen, and we must be at peace, and we must pray for these leaders. Now, coming into this new election, everybody thinks it's Trump, everybody thinks it's Harris, the books are crooked, what's going on, doesn't matter. We must pray and live quiet, peaceful, holy lives, proclaiming the gospel of truth. Because when we pray for our leaders, they have an impact on the lives that we live. Everything is like a trickle down. In the book of Hosea, it says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And the reason why is because the priests of that time were living so ungodly. It's like nobody knew who God was and nobody respected and honored the God of Israel. So they were just living crooked lives, corrupt lives, stealing from the church, stealing from its people, and just not honoring God the way God has attended. And that's why they were basically in this chaotic society. Sounds very familiar to now and what's going on now today. We must pray for our local officials, our family, our churches, our communities, our governments, because they have an impact. And our influence of prayer does have an influence we serve the God of this universe. We serve the creator of this universe. He hears our prayers and the prayers of the righteous availeth much as the Bible says. We pray because we know that being a leader is tough. It's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of criticism. There's a lot of pressures in that position. So we pray that that person handles that responsibility, that leadership, that role with grace, with wisdom, with knowledge, with understanding, with love, with peace, with humility because this is honoring and pleasing to God. So in this season, when everybody's trying to change our opinions, get us emotionally based, and manipulate us in every which way, we must turn to God and pray. Pray for our leaders, 
pray for our community, pray for our families. And we must do our job of continuing to spread the gospel and continuing to add people into the kingdom of God. I pray that this video blesses you guys. May God bless you, keep you, and have a good week. God bless you.